right, what's going on guys, Fevel's back again, and yeah, so with the release of the Thousand Year Blood War anime coming out finally after all these years, uh, yeah, just wanted to put together this list for top 10 Ichigos, and without further ado, let's just get right into it, alright? Number 10 on the list, uh, keep in mind, this list is completely opinion based, that's gonna uh, dissolve me of all liability, you feel me, and if you don't like the list, I mean... You can either suck some ass, and if you actually like that, then go lick some dog water, you filthy peasant. Let's just get right into it. Number 10, we do have Fierce Battle Ichigo, strong attack damage 20%, did resurrect into Berserker 20%, so he actually has a Berserker of 40, which is actually pretty good for that time, which is kind of why I'm a, still a bit ifed on the Thousand Year Blood War Round 1 banner that, in my opinion, saved Bleach Brave Souls, because if you actually looked at the financial reports, Bleach Brave Souls was actually not doing that good at the time. So with the release of Thousand Year Blood War Round 1, I was kind of hoping that they would be resurrected in the fashion that this one was two years ago. Like, this this, this Ichigo has, was resurrected like two years ago, if you can believe it. But either way, uh, Bruiser plus 40%, very, very high normal attack damage, which is still weird to me. Either way, very, very, very good character. Lunge, first strong attack. Beam, second strong attack. Third strong attack standard, uh, full screen. Next on the list at number 9, I actually have Heart Movie 1 Ichigo. I originally had him at number 8, but honestly, after a bit, I feel like uh, the next character is a little bit more valuable, which we'll talk about in a bit. This character, honestly, did resurrect into a lot. He did pick up, um, he actually had Havoc before, but he resurrected into damage inflicted at full stamp 16%, which is still, in my opinion, um, the second best link in the entire game. So, strong attack recharge 14%. Damage inflicted at full stamp 16% straight up a just damage boost, which is awesome uh, He also also picked up berserker 20% so he did pick up quite a bit of damage there Lun uh, two lunges for his first and second strong attack and his third strong attack is a standard um, I don't believe that it was actually a full screen. I think it was a 1080 third strong attack Yeah, it, it, he used to have a 900 uh, radius with havoc he picks up um, an extra 20% so 1080 radius third strong attack which is why it's crazy because this Ichigo actually picked this character's third strong attack as a second which is in my opinion OP <laughs> either way um this character is the second best link next to the uh, Senkaimon Chad that is completely free to play for every person and that is uh, available for every single color as well which is ugh, so good <laughs> all right so next on the list at number eight I actually do have this fierce battle Ichigo I did leave him a little bit more valuable than um, movie Ichigo only because this character is also a Chronicle Quest bonus character and is still very strong in his field he has a berserker of 40 percent he has a lunge for strong attack a beam, 2500 length beam, second strong attack, and his third strong attack is a 975 far reaching AoE distance strong attack. However, when you use his soul bomb, he actually gets this transformation mechanic and turns into his Bankai form. I don't know if I can actually like show his Bankai form here. Uh, either way, he has a Bankai form where he actually transforms completely and then actually refreshes all of his cooldowns. This character also has a built-in Zeta Ball. I believe he was the first character to actually get that as well. And uh, he also increases his strong attacks damage by approximately 25%. Yeah, 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 he increases all of his strong attack magnifications by 25% during his transform state, which is really good. And when he transforms back after 30 seconds, I believe, yeah, 30 seconds, then he actually gets all of his strong attack cooldowns back again, which is, in my opinion, still pretty damn insane. Uh, at number seven, I do have fourth anniversary Mugetsu form Ichigo, which is still crazy to me that we only have two Mugetsus in this entire game, whereas you have Dokkan with like 400 different versions of Super Saiyan 1 Goku, which is <laughs> like, like, I, I, I don't know how Caleb doesn't milk this character. I feel like it's just free money at that point, right? Uh, so strong attack recharge minus 12% as a link. He doesn't have a lot of damage multipliers. Actually, he, he doesn't have any except for frenzy plus one. When this character resurrects, I'm really hoping that Caleb does a like U-turn and actually give him a lot. Um, he doesn't really need uh, too much. Honestly, a berserker of like 40% along with Havoc 20% probably saves this character and actually puts him in line with the meta. But since Caleb shows an ineptitude when it comes to actually resurrecting characters, we'll see how that goes. A lunge first strong attack, AoE distance second, standard full screen third strong attack. This 
3 strong attack kit is actually probably one of the better ones in the entire game. With Havoc, this lunge becomes 540 radius, his second becomes a 960 radius, and then his full screen third strong attack will become 1200 radius. Now this character doesn't have Havoc, but I'm assuming that they'll probably give this character Havoc unless they decide to screw him over like they did third, an third anniversary Ulkiora. Alright, and next on the list at number 6, we do have 5th anniversary Ichigo. Honestly, I love this Ichigo. I still think this Ichigo is still OP. The only issue is that for power, I think that power is just way too stacked at this point. Like, if I bring up power, I want to say, like, in the last, like, two years, we've gotten Chad, Yamamoto, Love is, in my opinion... Okay, love isn't 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 better, but whatever it don't matter. Uh, we have Kempachi, we have Bruno, we have um, I don't know if you want to put Soyfon up in there, but she's an excellent character as well. You got Kisuke, and then on top of that, you also have uh, characters like Kokuto that are Link slot units, Rukia, Hikone. Like they're just characters that <clears throat> they don't necessarily are, they don't aren't necessarily better than 5th anniversary Ichigo, but there are so many options for power that it's actually crazy. This character has a Berserker 60%, he has Frenzy, he has Havoc 20%, he has Marauder as well, and then he also has Sprinter plus 2. He has a Lunge for Strong Attack, a 960 AoE Distant, this is a Circular Blast in front, and then his third strong attack is also an AoE distant that becomes 1080. At, is it 1080? I believe it's 960. I might be wrong. Let me see here. Third strong attack actually becomes a 1080 AoE distant. So it's in front of him, the radius of the 1080, which is, in my opinion, incredible because if you charge it for three seconds, it gets double damage. It, absolutely mad and then he still has good killers as well like hollow and a killer some of the most common killers in the game they're some of the most common enemies in the game which is always good to see next on the list at number five i actually do have spirit society ichigo now even though i do think that fifth anniversary is better than this ichigo in particular speed in my opinion is dog water right now like i like i think that there are maybe like three characters Maybe three to four characters better than this character, and then on top of that, there's literally like borderline no competition for this character to just come in and sweep. This character has Frenzy plus two, which is really good for having dual status ailments. Like the burn and the weaken means that this character can be a boss killer and used in any Florence and Kaimon that allows him to go in there and actually burn the enemy to death. Which is honestly really nice, especially for the players that aren't familiar or comfortable with dodging. Because since uh, since he weakens the bosses, when the enemy gets below half health and uses their soul bomb, you actually end up not taking much damage at all if they're still weakened slash burned. And then on top of that, he has a debilitator of plus 5 seconds, which means the burn lasts a lot longer. He also gets speed, attribute, soul reaper... Uh, damage to status ailment affected enemy so on top of that while the enemy is weakened or burned he's not only getting a 50 percent damage boost because of the weaken but he they're also taking the extra 20 percent raw damage increase from the strong attacks that he's dealing and with frenzy plus two and having 20 percent the damage scales incredibly well uh having 20 percent increased strong attack uh Radius, which is really good. He also has Sharpshooter, and then on top of that, he also has increased status element chance against power attribute hollows. His issue also is that he does have a hollow killer, so he does actively compete with quite a few characters like Azashiro, as well as 5th Anniversary Byakuya, which in my opinion do outspeed him in a lot of content. But I do feel like this character has a lot of value because of that weaken and burn, and for newer players who might not have like the greatest accessories or links, this character is actually really good. And number four, we have Thousand Year Blood War Dad Ichigo. Now, the reason he's actually over here instead of like being a little bit lower on the list is just that mind is kind of in the same place as speed. There's not as many cracked mind units or speed units as there are power and heart. All right, what makes this character crazy is that this character actually picked up this Ichigo second strong attack as a first strong attack and actually picked up Havoc. He also has Marauder, which means he has Guard Break. Oh, I, I didn't even speak about Marauder or Sharpshooter. Uh, it's really just Guard Break and then Nullify Resistance. So that's going to be good for content like um, Large Scroll Quests as well as Extreme Co-op, right? <clears throat> so he also has a Soul Reaper Captain Killer, which is great in Guild Quest. Sprinter Plus 2. He also has innate skills, 100% uh, read Soul Reaper Dodge, which is good against all do uh, dodge dodging Soul Reapers, so characters like 6th Anniversary Aizen. Berserker 
Frenzy plus one, so good damage multipliers. He also has a team boost. Chance to insta-kill with his special. He doesn't have any status elements, and honestly, that's kind of what's holding him back a little bit. But honestly, the fact that this character is just so cracked, he... <laughs> like, he, he's just he's just an overall great character. Next on the list, our Bogichigo character that's slowly showing his age with the releases of characters like Grim Jiao, Retsu, uh, Uryu, as well as the fact that this like year hasn't even finished yet, right? So he is a Soul Reaper and no affiliation killer. Strong attack, recharge, 14% link at worst, right? So this character is already cracked. Uh, he does have Sprinter plus two and long stride in his innate skills. He's also immune to all status elements. He has a Berserker of 60%, so increased strong attack damage off rip, and then Frenzy plus one. He has Havoc 20%, which is excellent. He has Poise. I still love this character. I think he's actually insane, especially considering that he's a premium pool slash general pool character that you can get from Brave Soul tickets. Next on the list, I do have 7th Anniversary Ichigo at number two. Still one of the most cracked characters to be released. His only issue is his first strong attack. He has Weakened and Paralysis on his strong attacks and his normal attack damage string. He has Sharpshooter, which we talked about earlier. It's just Guard Break as well as Nullify Range Resistance for him. Status Ailment spiritual pressure boost plus 80 percent that's an increase of damage of roughly 65 percent berserker 40 percent so he does have that and uh, frenzy plus one he has hit hidden enemies as well he also has bombardment which means that his special move is actually incredibly strong and he also has immobilizer and enervator which in my opinion as is an incredible skill Havoc plus 20% and Sprinter plus 1. This character for content like IT does incredibly well. His only real issue is that first strong attack, but he does have a 960 AoE distance circular strong attack for his second. And then on top of that, it is attached to a homing vortex that also hits 50 times, which is really good. So very, very easy to get his status ailment spiritual pressure boost. His only real issue is that he is a bit inconsistent in actually dealing that spiritual pressure boost unless you're outright just doing a soul bomb immediately he does have a soul reaper and a Ronkar killer in my opinion the best killers in the entire game and yeah he, he, he's just incredible next on the list we do have the new ichigo thousand year blood war anime returns ichigo kurosaki substitute soul reaper strong attack recharge 14 percent k-lab honestly just threw the entire kitchen sink at him he has an Aronkar and no affiliation killer which is really good first strong attack is going to be the 3000 length beam that uh daddy ichigo has except this daddy ichigo has less width this character is girthy this character took that um cheap one dollar wish um you know erection pills and then his second strong attack is going to be the same third strong attack as uh this ichigo so very very good second strong as a second strong attack and then his third strong attack is a standard full screen third strong attack he's completely he's not only immune to all status elements but he also has shared complete status immunity which means that if you were to get inflicted with a status element you're providing immunity to your entire team he also has guard break he has hit hidden enemies and he has pierced iron skin which is great for content like inheritance trials marauder means that he also has the guard break along with the nullify melee resistance damage to enemies not afflicted by an ailment plus 100 this is just a raw multiplier of times two which is insane because in in uh, in practice this frenzy plus two and damage to enemies not inflicted by an ailment plus 100 literally means that this character has frenzy plus four damage which means that he, this character is dealing literally six times the normal damage than most characters whereas they wouldn't whereas a character with frenzy plus one for example would only be dealing times two damage it's just stupid bro like i i think it's completely unnecessary but hey it's ichigo so i'll take it i'm i'm an ichigo whore uh on top of that he does have sprinter plus two and long stride so that long stride doubles your flash step um distance Team Party recover 20% stamina, and he also has read all dodge, which means that enemies can't dodge him as well. In Arena, he also picks up Frenzy plus 1, which means he has Frenzy plus 6 types worth of damage, which is stupid. This character is just dumb. Uh, honestly, in the, at the end of the day, this character is just stupid. Make sure to pick yourself up a copy. You'll see it yourself. Even at 1 out of 5, I think this character is just literally like the best character in the game. Maybe after Uryu. You can make a case for Uryu, but uh, seventh, I'm talking about 7th Anniversary Uryu. Either way, uh, I think both of these characters are just incredibly good units. But I'm going to leave it at that. You guys grind. I'll catch up with him. I'll stay blessed. Let me know how you think about this list. I kind of just uh, put put it together um, over the course of the last uh, few days. And yeah, honestly, I, I really do like this Ichigo. I think that they did an incredible job with him. Right, either way, I'm going to leave it at that.
I hope y'all enjoy the anime. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.